Hi, it's Adam from We Are Colour, and today we're going to use construction lines to create characters. I'll talk you through the process, so let's begin. So, I hope you're all well. As we start off this video, we're going to go over character construction. First thing to start off with is understanding how we use shapes and lines, and the best way to explain that um, and give example of that is to do something that we all have which is a face. Now the way you construct this and use shapes is we start off with that circle in the center that forms the basis of our head. And underneath that, we're gonna have this angled yet curved somewhat line going down, which forms our lower jaw. Off of that, obviously we add a neck and some shoulders just to uh, ground this person that we are drawing here. And from there, we add a center line down the face. This helps just line everything up. And then across that circle that we drew, we're gonna do a cross line. This is where the eyes are gonna sit. At the bottom of the circle is another line. This is where the nose will sit. And then in between the nose line and the bottom of the jaw, we're gonna draw another line, which is where the mouth sits. Now, as we continue on, we can add in the ears, which sit between the eye and the nose line that we've drawn in. And here I'm just quickly giving myself a guide to go from. There's some quick, simple shapes for the nose, which goes up to the eye line, a line across there for the mouth. As we come in, obviously I'm shaping in the eyebrows there. This is just to for you guys to follow along and be able to draw in proportion faces and characters of anyone you wish. This can, can be applied to any character that you like, male or female, it can apply. The main thing to look at when drawing the face is all the different shapes the parts represent. Obviously we have the circle for the head and just line work. And as we continue on, obviously it's circles for the eyes, it can be rectangles. It's just nice, simple shapes that we can break down. And as we layer these shapes on top of each other um, and on top of the guide that we lay down, we have a good basis for the human face. It develops, we build it up. Now the hairstyle I went with, you could do any hairstyle you wish. You can have long hair, no hair, it's entirely up to you. And as we go through, we just add more and more details, more and more lines, define the side of the face and the jaw a little bit more. Ultimately, we just build up layers of shapes and lines until we have a human face. Quite simple to follow along with. So as we continue on in the video, I um, just wanted to emphasize the use of shapes as we draw the character Snoopy. Using shapes to help build a character is a great way of understanding not only how to draw that one particular character, but can be applied to your own characters or various other characters that you wish to draw. In the video, I'm building up Snoopy using various circles and oval shapes, and this helps give me that basic form for drawing Snoopy as we go on through this video. Once we have that basic form in, I'm going to go over with my pencil and just add in those other details such as his collar, the eye, the mouth and that little strain of hair on top of his head. Once all those details are there, we can go over our outlines and basically pick the lines that we wish to use for the final drawing. In this case, it's the outline, it's making sure I get that collar, the eye, the mouth and the nose in, as well as getting those other details that build up that outline for Snoopy. Uh -huh. 
And that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching this video, hope you all have a lovely day. I'm Adam, and we are Colour, thank you.